Some of you might be Wackaday, or you could be from Australia. Oh yeah, that sounds good. You like Wackaday? How you doing? You got yourself a doona. So a doona or a donna or someone from Australia is definitely what I'm hearing. Or you've got connections or you live there in Australia. Uh, anyway, Sagittarius, how you doing? So we've done your channel messages, Pucci. Oh snap, you didn't know? So your, your channel messages were before this one, okay? And this is gonna be what to be aware of in your environment. Now, what's hearing Brian or Beth or for the life of Brian? Shut up and listen to this song. And someone that's Jewish, it's probably Pudgy, but like uh, Jewish or something like that, okay? And I'm hearing for the life of Brian, so it could be called Brian or something to do around a Leo. A Leo, a Lion, a Laura, Lucy, Lucifer, a Capricorn. Uh, I don't know, because your channel message has got very complicated also. So there is something here that's complicated. It's like something you can't see, green or blue. I'm doing my dad. Very good band, brilliant song. Something you can see, and it moves without command. So it's something like a metaphysical connection or experience that some of you might be having with someone. It's like food for your ears. And it moves without command. Okay, and it's something that you can't see. Ah! So it means that it's some kind of connection that some, some of you may have with someone that would probably be metaphysical. For the people that don't know what metaphys metaphysical is, it means that it hasn't manifested itself into a relationship. It's just a feeling that I've got for someone, okay, that could be flirting or stuff like this, but I've kind of got like a feeling, okay. I got a feeling, ooh, ooh. That tonight's gonna be a good night. I got a feeling. So, Sagittarius, before we begin, <laughs> before we begin, Jen, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, uh, we are going to tell, I'm going to, <laughs> sorry, I'm distracted. Uh, some of you could have ADD, okay? Um, you can watch this as Sagittarius, a Taurus, or a Life Part 5 because of the major arcana energy, me reading in numerology. Okay, so let's see. Sagittarius, what should they be aware of in their environment that seems to be coming up? What should Sagittarius be aware in their environment? Okay, so you got fake accounts. Social media accounts to spy Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. So you've got basically people that are spying. Now the trouble is, I'm a spy in the house of love. I know the dream that you're dreaming of. I know the word that you long to hear. I know your deepest secret fears. I know everything. Might be a thing, could be Steve, Stephen, but I don't know. Fake accounts, social media, spying on people's social media accounts. But don't forget, if you're watching Tarot and you're interested in a person, you're basically watching their social media. So if you're like, oh, what's happening with my partner? What do they think? What do they feel? You're spying on their thoughts and feelings and their private thoughts. So... It might be someone here that has social media accounts of so so certain like aspect, but it means that I'm being watched constantly by people that are like you know if you've got partners and blah 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 and you're on social media they're watching them okay so it means that I'm watching your social media here and it means that I might have to fake the fact that I am but I might lie about it so if you say are you watching my social media they say no but they are okay. That can also mean people that are doing, I don't know, anything where they're very intrigued about a person. Now, this doesn't have to be weird or strange. It can just be like, I'm very intrigued about a person and it makes me want to watch them. But it does say fake social media accounts to spy Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. But it just says that on the card. But what it does mean is, is that people are watching other people's social media account to see if anything is there that may be suspicious. Okay. Suspicious Minds, Jarvis Cocker, Cock Frost. Let's see. Um, so, like I said, if you're having things that are hacked, 
and all of that sort of stuff. Be very careful of what you're clicking on again. Uh, let's see, or what you're sending out. <clears throat> so Sagittarius, anything for Sagittarius to be aware of. Uh, moves in silence. There's Jen. There you go. So moves in silence. So that's what I was saying, green or blue. It moves without command. So it's like, shh, don't tell anybody that I might be talking to someone on social media and I don't want the other person to know that I'm doing that. So like I said, this social media could be texting, sexting, anything like that. But like, I'm doing it silently. I don't want people to know that we're talking to one another now or a mother. So that might mean the fact that they have some kind of uh, metaphysical connection or a connection that they're going on that they just don't want another person to know about. OK, so that doesn't mean that there's cheating. It just means that I don't want people to know that I'm talking to someone. Right. So it means that someone's trying to cover up the fact that they are more than likely talking to someone online. But it may be forcing a person to be silent like I want to, but I can't. OK, it's a little bit like that. OK, this is normally a high priestess energy card for me, which means Libra placement or a life path two. OK, but it moves in silence. So it means that I'm a silent witness to a witnessing of something that could be fake. I might have people around me where I have social media. I get it all the time. People that send me links to click on on an email and I don't. Or they send me loads of different emails of stuff of like, I had one this morning that I got up, a fucking tarot card reader that was trying to tell me, do you want me to teach you how to read tarot cards? What? <laughs> and I'm sending out like a, a Google calendar of like 10,000 other people that are all connected via my people. And then I'm going to send them out and try and get business that way via my emails. Me, I wasn't interested because it was tarot and there was trying to ask me and tell me what tarot cards meant. Why Why send me that? <laughs> yeah. But like, no, I'm not interested. So like I said, it's can come across as spam mail, okay, or fan mail. Some of you have got like a very stalking fan maybe and they hack your accounts and they keep trying to get back on and stuff like that and they may be really irritating you. That, Like I said, it can be... YouTube, it can be Instagram, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. But I've blocked someone out from the past and they keep irritating me by making false uh, accounts. Okay, they make a new email and then another email and another email and then another email. And then they just keep sending me messages from another person's email. Okay, just block them. You do realize that you can block emails, right? I have to do it a lot. Okay, <clears throat> so someone sends you, they really annoy you, can block them. Okay, um, but like you've got this making, having to make false accounts in order to be able to do that. So someone keeps trying to hassle their way in to a person's life that might not want it. Okay, so I'm having to fake everything. Okay. Now, like I said, this can be very serious things like catfishing, right? You don't know who this person is. You've never seen them. You don't know who they are. Okay, they're making false accusations, false accounts, trying to get on your good side, and you don't know where they are. Laura Felix, be very careful around people like that, okay? People that will not show their face. If you're talking to someone, you've got to see their face. You've got to know what they're doing, okay? So some, some of you could be just like, because I get it. I've had clients. OK, I've had an, an online connection with a person that we've been talking via email for the last two years and we haven't seen each other. What? Two years. Right. Don't do things like that. You've got to make sure that you do video calling. OK, video calling. OK, it's very important to know, especially if it moves in silence where someone's trying to get you to move. And I've had this with people that live in America and it's people that are, you know, in a uh, complete and utter foreign country, okay? And you've never seen me, but I want you to move over here to become my wife, okay? Just think about what you're doing before you go and make such a big move, okay? If, if anyone's relating to that, okay? Because I do get them, I do, okay? Uh, they've got two wives and a camel and God knows what else, and they're asking me to go over and move with them, but I've never seen who they are. Wake up, okay? But they won't leave me alone. They keep faking accounts. Uh, let's see. Um, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I mean, I, to be honest with you, I don't know, honestly, what makes a person that special enough to be able to, like, where someone would want you that bad that they have to social media fake everything. Like, I, I don't get it. But... <laughs> 
Like, I've never been that special enough that people need to fake accounts to keep getting to talk to me. Like, I'm like, bruv, I pick my nose. Like, you know. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I shit out my arsehole. You know, just listen, Sagittarius. I said it in your last reading. Just make sure you keep shitting out your arsehole. Just make sure you keep doing that right. As long as you shit out your arsehole and in your mouth, you're good to go, bruv. It's simple as that. Just keep shitting out your arsehole. So let's see. Um, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Um, so you got always partying. you got a party favour here. Someone could be throwing around the drugs. They're trying to hide it from their parents that they might be drinking or doing drugs, stuff like that. They could be gambling and doing loads of those sort of things. This could be from the Taurus reading as well, don't forget. But I'm trying to fake it. I'm trying to make different accounts. Okay, someone's lost their fucking mind up here in the spiritual jargon world here. Like physically lost their mind. They've got paranoid. They haven't hide everything from everybody. They move in silence. They're under the fucking radar. Or it's just like very uncomfortable. Okay, but like always partying. I don't know. Is that a good cause for a relationship here? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, sounds like a Cancerian trait, really. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, you could have kids that are always in, like they're always partying, always going out, making social, you know, social different accounts, being stalked. Um, I hate that word though. Let's see, because people start coming up with gang stalking. I've been gang stalked. I hate that word so much. Oh, let's see, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Uh, idol, loved, respected, admired, and idolized fan. So you could have a very strange, weird fan here, okay. And someone's like gang stalking this person, okay. I always think this looks like Water Baby Tarot. Can you remember? I don't, I don't watch it, but like, <laughs> like Water Baby Tarot right in the corner there, like going, Oh my god, look, <laughs> don't you think so? <laughs> yeah, but like, uh, it does. Like, have another look, look, have a look, look. Doesn't that look like Water Baby Tarot, right? Yeah, she's in a card. <laughs> she probably didn't realise that she had a picture took here. But, like, um, I don't know. It's, like, someone's someone that idolises someone that they have to keep faking accounts in order to be able to see the person. Like, someone could be dripping like an absolute fuck fringe right in here, up in here, and they're equivocably obsessed. Okay. <clears throat> but that's normally, like, social media. Social media. Okay. Um, but the trouble is is that we're dealing with people that do tarot I mean do you see people that are tarot that are like really respected because they have a load of subscribers they're still a person like like I said me I shit out my arsehole me I do um, you know I don't see no matter how many subscribers I had I'd still remain loyal and stupid and with long hair and just speak the truth I don't ever see like you know someone that's like a musician or something like that maybe and I'd be like oh yeah I'm a fan of David Gilmore or Tom York, you know, but like a tarot card, are you? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, what do you do? Oh my God, you know, yeah. But it's still their own. Uh, let's see, um, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. But I do see a lot of that fame and that public eye stuff go to a lot of people's fucking heads. Like, it really does. Like, it completely and utterly goes to their heads. And like, you know, <laughs> here. But like I said, man, these could be people that have been on YouTube or that are on YouTube and they've had, like, relationships, okay, and they're stalked by exes because they're a light worker, okay, and they've gone through all of that fucking jargon and blah, 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 and these per this person keeps making up fake accounts in order to get back onto their email or some shit like that or whatever, okay, Sagittarius, any messages for Sagittarius to be aware of? Uh, cool. someone's got a prickly dick, whichever way that is, but, oh, my God, that would hurt. But, like, bad reputation, prickly when wet. I mean, someone's a bad girl or a bad boy. I mean, it could be Michael Jackson, for all I know. But, like, yeah, got a very bad reputation, okay? Like I said, it could be, oh, I don't know. You, I mean, you pick. Are you dealing with someone that has, like, a very bad prick, okay? Or dick or something like that, or they just can't keep it in their pants here. Um, so what is this fake accounts? Who is this that are making fake accounts? Who is it that's making a fake account here? Oh, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Could be something around a Capricorn energy, but it would be a karmic ex. It would be someone of your ex where you're kind of like, I've blocked this fucking dickhead out, out, fucking dickhead out of my life ages ago. 
and I know for a fact that they're just waiting to get back on. But like, all you've got to do, if it's Facebook, go on Facebook, right, where it says search results, look up their name, okay, then it says add them as a friend or block. Block them. They can't see shit once you've blocked them, okay. <clears throat> but like, you know, why people have to feel like they have to hide from people, like when it comes to an ex. Oh my God, I've got to hide from my ex. No, you just tell them that they're a dickhead and to fuck off and it's quite simple, Dave. It, for, well, for me being a guy, it is. I don't know about you women, but I'm kind of like, you're a weird motherfucker. You might as well fuck right off because you ain't getting nowhere. I don't care whether you watch me. In fact, I'll give you something to watch. Take a look at that one right here. So, like, why it bothers people. Like, oh, my God, i got to hide. Like, I mean, are they violent? Here. Yeah. But, like, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So, so it could be around a Capricorn. A person keeps making fake accounts, emails, and shit like that to hound this person down that makes them feel as if they can't speak about it, that they can't talk about it. Okay. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Nine. This is a single person from the past. Could be Virgo or Life Path Nine person. Okay, from the past <clears throat> that you guys have been dealing with that is now actually single. Okay, looking to now mingle. Okay. They could be even a Pringle. Are you Pringle? Are you a backstabbing Judas bitch? <laughs> well, today on 7 Tarot, we're going to find out. So what moves in silence for Sagittarius? What is it that moves in silence? I'm going to say it, Steve, or Pisces, maybe. But like, uh, moves in silence. Okay, silent witness. Okay, I'm bigger and better than to worry about the shit that you've got. In fact, my shit doesn't even stink. But I still shit out my arsehole. Okay, so there could be someone that may or may not be single, but they are definitely spying and watching, 100%. And it could have been someone that you're also dealing with from the past. Okay, from the past. And they keep making up fake accounts in order to get to look at someone. Because this can be, like I said, the high priestess can be known as someone that's gorgeous like drop dead gorgeous really attractive okay and it might be a pervert okay someone that keeps making up false accounts to be able to look at things but like i said if that's youtube you can't do nothing about it so don't worry about it if that's facebook you've got a block it doesn't matter right here but i've seen these people get into so much stupid fucking scenarios <clears throat> and i'm gonna i'm gonna say it as it is they put their tits and everything else online and they do like very lingerie like shots on like you on Facebook and they have everything flaunting out and then they wonder why they get very strange weird people that hang around their YouTube because they've constantly got things all out like their tits and everything and they're like oh my god and I've got like a hat on and <laughs> I mean Jen is this you fuck's sake <laughs> yeah but like you know I've got like this on and that on and blah 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 and then I'm also going to show me in a very skimpy outfit and and everything else but like I said whether that bothers you or not that is going to draw attraction you will whether you want it or whether you don't you will enjoy it well, probably not enjoy it. You probably end up not enjoying it. Me, there's no fucker that's ever going to want to look at my beauty because I'm a geezer and I don't. So that's why I struggle with YouTube. People want to watch those women that are kind of like, oh, like they love it. They're, they're like, I prefer a woman reader that's kind of like, you know, they do better. Okay. But like I said, there's something here where someone has been flaunting things maybe or someone has been spying and thinking, oh, you know, here and then they ended up becoming like a very big pain in the ass where you're kind of like, I'm gonna to have to um block this person out, but they're still there, they're still there, <laughs> uh, always partying because they can turn into a hater, you see, they can turn into someone that hates the energy. And these will be people that hit the dislike straight away, real quick, because they don't like answers that they've been given and they lose their fucking mind, they become really obsessed. And they have to keep an eye on the people constantly all the time. Why they do that, I don't know, because I would see that as a complete waste of time. Like, I, I wouldn't even bother wasting my time. But some people do. Like, they like to sit there just to think that they're irritating or intimidating people. You know, I need to do this because I think, in my head, that it's actually intimidating the other person. Okay, so when you don't show any intimidation, they can't bother you because you're not actually being affected by it. Okay, if you keep acting affected... Okay, like it's affecting me. They'll keep doing it. 
they will keep doing it because they could physically be fucking like trying to annoy you or to stop you from doing something okay <clears throat> especially when you're tarot readers and you have partners the watch don't do that okay because they might end up like hating what you do because you're you're reading out certain things that go on in star signs okay uh let's see what's the empress for the empress so you got gemini or capricorn energy here so you got someone that's worried that someone might be giving attention to another person. When they're not giving attention to one, they may feel or know or don't know that the person could be giving attention to someone else. But like I said, there could have been that much stalking and spying and hatred that a person's like, I'm fucking sick to death of all this shit, feeling like I can't breathe or think or do what I want to do. If you keep trying to control me to stop me from doing what I'm going to do, you're soon going to get the back end of my, you know, you're soon going to see the fact that I'm going to do what the fuck I want whenever I want. So you can watch, sport, stalk, stalk or do whatever you like. But if you keep making me feel that uncomfortable, you're going to make me angry and I will go and do something. So it's a little bit like this where someone's trying to control someone else's assets or money or they're trying to control what another person does with their own life. OK, here could be a mum here and I'm avoiding the person here <clears throat> because they're always like keeping a very fucking close beady eye on everything I'm doing, spending God knows what else, you know, whether I'm out or whether I'm not. But like I said, this could be an adolescent child that goes out partying all of the time, okay? And when they come back, they're not paying bills. They're, they're spending their money on drugs or alcohol, but they're not asked to pay rent. Because this is paying rent and paying the bills and saving money. This is not saving money, have got no money. When I get it off the government, I spend it as quick as I've got it because I may be gambling, OK, I don't pay any rent. I don't pay maintenance. I go out. I gamble. I keep it silent. I don't have to do anything. And I'm coming across as a very adolescent child that's always out doing the wrong thing. OK, because I love people being in the limelight, that people love me. OK, for being stupid. OK, can be. OK, because what they're doing is, is they're running with the wolves. They're getting very bad reputations. Like I said, this could be a tarot person that watches tarot that's adolescent and they don't buy because it could be a Capricorn energy. <clears throat> Not all Capricorns, but if you do get like a Capricorn energy that hasn't got any money, they will and they're obsessed about getting money, they can form an addiction, which means gambling. Okay, running with the wolves, trying to hang around with people that fucking that are larger than light. I need to get in with the crowd to see if I can get their money. Like I said, it could be a catfish. Someone that lures people in to hang around people that have stuff to see if I can tease you and manipulate you into giving me stuff. Here, I've had it. I've had people straight away ask me if they can borrow three grand. You know, what? Really? You want? <laughs> Fuck right off. Here. But like, you know, I don't pay my way. I don't pay maintenance. I don't pay rent. I haven't got a pot to fucking piss in. I've got no money. I'm always partying. I'm deceiving everybody. I'm drawing more and more and more and more bad reputation around me. And I keep doing it and keep doing it and just keep doing it. Because I could be obsessed about attraction. That I'm so attractive that everybody wants me. So I know for a fact that I will get myself a rich husband. And that's what I'm out to get. So this is a gold digging energy here. Gold digging. Okay. Not for everybody. Don't bite the fucking bullet here, people. But just this is like around your environment. Okay, now if you are the kind of person that does this, just keep doing it. But you're getting a very bad reputation for doing so here. Okay, me, I would never date a person like that. I wouldn't, I would never date a person like that. Okay, <clears throat> I would soon go off them very quickly. Okay, always partying, Capricorn, possible. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn Paradox number, or anybody. You pick who you like. But I am picking up on strong energies of a very low vibration Capricorn. Not a high vibration Capricorn. Not a really nice, loving, caring Capricorn. I'm on about a manipulative energy here that spends money and doesn't have any... Well, I mean, it can also be someone that doesn't have any money, but that doesn't really matter, as long as they're a very decent, loving, kind person. But I am picking up here that someone just spends money, just like they've got none, but they spend it. It's kind of like at the end of the month, they used to have people here in Britain that do that. 
<clears throat> they don't work, okay, and they get money off the government, and they don't work, they just get money from the government, okay, and they spend it all on drugs and alcohol here. Spend it on drugs and alcohol and gambling, and then who pays for that? Me, the taxpayer, people that pay tax. Now, in America, it's slightly different, I think, because we pay a certain amount of tax. Like, at the end of the year, I pay loads of tax. Half of that goes towards the government, which means half goes to the government, the other half go to the people that don't have clothes, they don't have food, they're trying to get work and jobs, but it also goes to those collective few that swindle, which means that they've got no intention in getting a job, they've got fucking no hope in life, and they spend all of the money that we give them to, to get yourself going, they gamble it. They spend it on drugs and they use it on alcohol and God knows what else. And they kill the backbone of the NHS. So you get people like me and us that end up bitching and moaning. Uh, people that just dwindle all of our money away by laying there doing fuck all. Okay, No work, no job, no life, no nowhere. Okay, Who pays for it? We do that work hard for you to lay on your fucking asshole here. So I'm picking up that someone here... That is like that. They, this person does not take life seriously at all. They don't. Could be a younger person, okay? Doesn't take life seriously. Okay? So tell me about this King of Pentacles. Because, like I said, this always partying here, around this card here, means that I am after money. I am after people's money. So I try to hang around people that have got loads of money or loads of things that can give me that, Okay? That I can get in with. Okay. People with money. That's why this could be catfishing energy here. Fake. Fake accounts. Like I said. You've got to be very careful. Like you know. When you give private information to people. They can use any of that. In order to get to. Send you loads of clickable bait shit. Okay. I got it into myself. It happened to be fucking two Uber Eats. Okay didn't fucking realize the fact that i ended up clicking on a link okay not realizing that that was the way the person invertedly did that okay it's very skeptical <clears throat> okay because it wasn't asking for money directly it was trying to get people to invest into something here like you know i'm trying to get you to invest into something because i can't afford it and i've got no fucking money and i need other people's money to be able to do that so I'm going to set up a business, but I'm going to get you to spend your money, not mine, because I don't have any here. You know, you've got to be very careful here. Idol. Loved, respected, and admired, idolized fan. Not really making too much sense. This person could be, like I said, it's someone that's at a distance. You've got nice, bright, shiny things. I want a piece of that. Now, I've gone way above and beyond where some of these messages are just very, very simple and general energies here. I've looked more towards the be aware of someone that isn't on the right page or planet of life right here. <clears throat> because, like I said, you could be parents, maybe, of these kind of people that are really not taking life very seriously. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and they're partying, taking drugs, gambling and all that sort of shit here. Okay, and it's draining your assets and it's draining you as a person also here. Okay, so you kind of got that. Now, <clears throat> you've also got on a general level, Sagittarius or Taurus or like par fives, you've also got like a couple that are more than likely here, but they're just kind of like dealing with people that are around them that are always partying. Okay. Because you've got someone at a distance energy here. Okay. Uh, bad reputation. Bad reputation. Who is that that's getting a bad reputation? Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn? Mm, that's a dick. And that's a three of cups. Well, the tarot is saying different, but the king and the queen are counterparts here. Meaning that they're a couple, but they are actually a part. This is a mother and a father here, or father and stepmother or stepfather and whatever, that are raising an adolescent child here. This is 100% like a family ship type sort of shit energy, okay? That there's a mother and father that are trying to raise a child here, okay? But majority of it says always partying, keeps it silent, does things online, blah, 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 but keeps it fake, trying to make it online, but faking it. 
But then you've also got like a third party because you've got this energy here, this being also a three and this being in reverse around Gemini, Capricorn, Piscean energies and something that is of silence. OK, but the tower is not really showing like bad vibes because of the, qu the, the queen and the 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 dick there so like i said it's a it's a connection that maybe someone that has with a person but like i said it could lead to a bad reputation but that depends on what two people or three people want you know each and every individual in life are completely different and i have them clients on here okay and people that comment they're just after the dick and they don't want tying down they don't want a relationship they just want something easy then you get some people that are like fuck no i would never do anything like that then you get some people like, well, I would, you know, so I can't please everybody. <clears throat> but you do have this metaphysical energy that is attached to someone. But that can also be an ex-divorce you know, situation, okay, with children. Okay, so that's what you've kind of got there. <clears throat> so uh, your actual reading is over on Patreon. That is where I do your weekly reading to what to be aware of, what is in the shadows, messages of closure, and then another one, which is the hidden truth. And then we clarify all of those and tell you what they're hiding, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what they're thinking about you or the other person. Why is that happening? What's the outcome going to be if there are like third energies? OK. Oh, man, you also got the world here as well. Right at the end. So it could be a Piscean or a long distance relationship. You've got a Cancerian energy coming through here. So you've got the world, Cancerian above seven in the world. OK. But like I said, it's, it's all over on YouTube. Uh, Patreon. When I do the next lot of Patreon readings, which is I'm going to be starting them today because we're going to go back to Pisces because all the other ones are finished for the week. I'm going back to Pisces now and then starting the other 12 again before I start putting out else, anything on here. Uh, and I'm going to be doing the general weekly reading with just these ones this time. So I'm going to tell you what your love life looks like, what work life comes out, not what to be aware of and all that sort of stuff. We've done that for a little while. So your general actual reading now is going to be shown to you with the camera down and what I'm going to be giving you for your week. I'm going to start off at Pisces and go my way through, but they're all in different orders now. So if you are on Patreon, thank you so much. If you want to join Patreon, the link is below, but you'll need the silver or the gold tier, okay? Uh, all, all information is below, and it is also over there as well. If you just found the channel, make sure you give a like, share, comment, subscription, and also, guys, make sure that you watch the channeled messages that were before this reading because you are now getting two. One is channeled, one is tarot and channel, okay? All right, guys, thanks very much, guys. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.